Hello guys, what is up? My name is Daniel Hung and welcome to another video on the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to outline stuff in Affinity Photo for the iPad. And right off the bat, I want to thank Willis McKay, hope I said your name right, for commenting on my previous Affinity Photo tutorial about how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, you can go check it out. But thank you for commenting down and being kind of the springboard for this video. So thank you. Um, we're going to start right now. How to outline. I'm going to show you three ways of how to outline. So let's get right into it. All right. So I'm in the home screen. And the first thing you're going to do is open up a vanity photo, obviously. I'm going to show you what we're going to be making today. Or something similar so we're gonna be making something like this you know outlining myself right there so let me go back out of the project and we're gonna start a new one right the settings totally depend on what you're doing but I'm gonna do uh, you know what I usually do for making thumbnails you know rectangle 4k all that all right, so we have arrived at the canvas and the first thing uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make it look more prettier. I'm going to put a little background color on it. So to do this, I'm going to be choosing a color first, um, maybe a little blue. Yep. All right, after that, I'm going to get my square tool shape tool and I'm just gonna make a square basically giving my canvas a little character huh all right next thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna bring the photo app right there and I'm going to choose a photo I'm gonna use so I'm gonna be using the one by me you know with a lake it's gonna drag it right on there it's gonna input itself in so I'm gonna make it smaller so that we get to see more of the photo because what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be taking the background off of it so that we can actually outline it we're going to go into the selections persona and go into the selection brush and we're just going to zoom in and start selecting the parts we want i'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger and then we're going to go and just draw over what we need what we want to keep so I'm just gonna go you know pe use my pen and use my pencil and just draw over the parts that I want selected making sure to make everything neat I'm checking to see if I got everything and I think I did I'm gonna go click the refine selection tool to see what I've selected. Whoops. And as you can see, everything in red is going to be basically deleted. And we're gonna be left with what isn't red. We're gonna output it not as a selection, but as directly into a mask. Right? We're gonna. That means we're just gonna mask out everything. Alright? Apply. And now we have our mask we have successfully deleted the background all right now we're gonna with the move tool I can now resize it make it a little bit bigger you know okay oops all right tapping with two fingers undoes and tapping with three redoes so The first method is the outline effects method. So we're gonna take the photo, select it, go into the effects panel. You'll see one that's called outline. You're gonna switch that on and click the word outline and you'll, you should see a contextual menu pop up, right? Here you can, you know, change all the settings of it. I'm gonna change the color, maybe a blue again, you know, darker blue this time. And 
we're gonna increase the radius you know and by doing so we kind of form a little outline right you can make it thicker or smaller by sliding up and down and you know you can change all kinds of settings the alignment okay, outside center or inside it's weird but you know, keep it on outside I don't know why anybody would want to do that but you can also change the fill style you can add a solid color either have it as a solid color contour or a gradient you know I'm gonna stick with solid color for now you can even change the opacity you know mess around with the radius once more and all that you can change blend modes too but I'm not gonna go into that in depth right now because I'm not even sure what all the blend modes do but as you can see um, what I don't like about this method is that I can never get the outline to look correct you know if, as you can see it, it's not very really uniform some parts are thicker some parts are thinner and I'm not really sure why uh, it might work for other pictures but I, for this one and for most um, pictures that I use and try to use this method it just doesn't work so I'm gonna turn that off and we're gonna go and show you the second method which is the color overlay effects method in this one we're just gonna you know with our background removed we're just gonna duplicate that layer right we duplicated it now we're gonna select the bottom layer and we're just gonna go into the effects panel as per usual and we're going to add the color overlay effects on it yep so we'll go to the effects panel once again in this case you take off outline we don't need that no more turn on color overlay and as you can see nothing really happens to the photo that's because this is hiding it so we're just gonna take hide it again and we're, see, we're gonna see that there's a black o color overlay over our photo I'm gonna tap that color overlay and we're gonna go to the contextual menu and kind of change its color around maybe a uh, blue I keep using blue <sighs> all right so now we're gonna bring back that top layer and basically what we're gonna be doing now is just manipulating the size and shape and position of that color overlay and by doing so we create some kind of outline effect or like dual tone effect all right so I'm just going to increase its size a bit you know we're just gonna move it around to however we feel is nice Alright, um, the camera's acting funny, but bear with me, it's gonna show. Alright, you know, you can manipulate it until your heart is happy. So, as you can see, we kind of made an outline, and it's a lot more neater than the outline effects method. Alright, so yeah, this is the color overlay method. All right, the third method is using brushes, right? Using brushes and the pen. We're gonna, do, we're gonna talk about the brushes right now. And so basically, what you're gonna want to do is you wanna start and create a pixel layer um, so that you can draw on it. Instead of drawing on your actual um, photo, it's a lot more safer and you can undo what you wanna do you can always change and go back so we're gonna create a pixel layer just like that and then we're gonna go to our brushes over here and choose a brush I'm gonna choose this one this simple one over here and as you can see we have our brush selected on the left our contextual menu now reflects all the settings that we can change like you know the width which is like the size of the brush you know you have opacity flow hardness we're just gonna keep that same i'm gonna change the color like so maybe a green this time right 
once we have our color no yellow better once we have our color we're just gonna zoom in and we're basically gonna draw a border around you know a physical physically draw a border around the thing you want to outline so take your time you know no one's rushing you try to make it as evenly thick as possible this one now depends on you so we're just gonna take our pencil and or finger and draw around it like so all right all right now that we are done let's go back to the layers panel again and i'm gonna see that we indeed have a pixel layer above we're just gonna bring it down below the photo so now it's underneath as you can see we have created an outline using a paintbrush and now we can move it around using the move tool resize it all that cool stuff you know depending on what we want to create uh, let me see if can we change the color here uh, let me see not it's not changing color but that's okay we can use the color overlay effects that we learned previously to change the color of anything it basically overlays a color on top so now we can change it to anything we want simple as that very easy pretty awesome All right, now the last method is using the pen tool. It's very similar to the brush, but we're going to be using the pen tool over here. No, over here, not the node tool. Tap it and we're going to go to the pen tool. And similarly, we're just going to write a border. So let's increase the thickness a bit, the width. And as you can see, we don't have to create a pixel layer for this. It'll make one automatically. So with the pen tool, you'll be tapping to create points that connect. So let me show you what I mean. So you tap here, you tap there, and you start creating lines. Now you're gonna continue doing it um, like so. I'm not a pro at the pen tool, but yeah, I'm showing you that it's possible. I'm showing you so that you know that it exists. Um, the camera might be weird, but let me just continue. When you reach a curve, you just tap and drag and kind of like feel how it works. Like I said, I'm not a pro, so I don't really know what I'm doing right now in terms of the pen tool, but you get the gist. You basically just tap, 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 you know. Don't worry if it's not perfect because it kind of doesn't matter. You'll see what I mean when we reach the end of this thing so I'm just gonna do it real quick for tutorial purposes let me hurry this up and now to connect the two just tap the original point that you started with and now it's connected all right now that you're done with that we can easily just choose a color right here from the menu Maybe a little pink. All right, cool. And now we can change the width size. And now as you can see, it creates a cool little outline. Raising it up and down decreases the size, increases or decreases the size. And similarly, we're just going to bring it underneath the photo so that we now have an outline. Doesn't that look great? As you can see, I like this method a lot because not only can you change the color without using the color overlay effects, like what I'm showing you now, the lines are way more uniform and I don't know, everything about it just looks nice. Does it take a lot more work and maybe a lot more time? Sure, it does, but the results speak for themselves. It's really nice looking. And that's using the pen tool so I've shown you four ways actually three if you group them but technically four ways to outline stuff in affinity photo 
on the iPad. Now to finish this off, I'm just going to group the two here. You can pinch like so. Uh, if I can get it to work, deselect, let me pinch it to group it. And now I can move the two as one. Right? And I'm gonna make a funky looking thumbnail. Thanking you guys for reaching to the end of this video. You know, if you got value from it, you know, don't hesitate to give a like and maybe even subscribe because it really helps me motivate me to create more content for you guys um, and so yeah if you know someone who might be in need of this send them this video and if you want to know how to do anything more just drop a thing in the comments thank you for watching I'm gonna see you in the next one peace